Hey, how are you doing? Tori is here. Today I'm reviewing this computer speaker from Blue D. They were kind enough to send me out a review sample and by the way, I can assure you I will remain transparent with my reviews and I will point out all the cons and pros. So, right from the box we get some paperwork and the speaker itself. Quite simple unboxing so far. Oh, look at that, it turns on automatically as soon as I plug it in. That's great. Oh, look at all those lights. I can say the design of the speaker is quite appealing. It is almost like a mini soundbar. On the side we can find a volume knob which serves as a button as well. The speaker has also got built-in RGB lights as you can see. And if you are not a fan of RGB lights, you can just simply turn them off by clicking the button on the side twice. Well, it almost turns them all off. For some reason the side lights remained on for me. I'm not sure if this is intentional or not, but this can cause problems if you would like to go full stealth. Oh, and the button on the side also serves as a play or pause button if you just press it once. Now, there are two cables coming out from the speaker. One is a USB and the other one is an audio jack cable. This makes the device plug and play. You won't need to install any drivers, but at the same time you have to deal with another cable. I wish these cables would be detachable and maybe have a choice which side to plug in. But that would probably add a bit more to the manufacturing. At the moment the cables come out on the right side and that is fine, but in case you want to do a better cable management and your desk is left orientated, then you haven't got much choice. Just something to keep in mind. There's also an AUX jack on the front of the speaker in case you want to plug in your headphone or earbuds. It is also able to connect to devices via Bluetooth. We just need to press and hold the button on the side until the red and blue light starts flashing and then we can pair our device. Playing music via Bluetooth is fine because I don't notice any delay really. However, playing video is also fine thanks to the Bluetooth 5.0. There's barely any latency. Anyway, the speaker would be connected all the time with the jack in my case, so there wouldn't be any sound delay at all. If you want to clear or reset the connected Bluetooth devices, then you just need to hold the side button for 7 seconds. Let's listen to some audio samples and see what this bad boy is capable of. Just don't expect the sound quality to be exactly the same as in real life. You know, YouTube audio codec and everything. I must say, the sounds that are coming out of this speaker are very clear. I mean, the highs are crystal clear. The bass is a little bit flat to my liking, but it's definitely better than a laptop speaker. Also, it is very, very loud. Loud enough to fill a big room as well. My only issue with it is that I think this speaker is not wide enough to experience a good stereo effect. The speakers are quite close to each other and because of that it loses the effect a bit. Overall, I think it's a decent speaker for the price. It's definitely better than a laptop speaker and also if you are looking for a small form factor to match your computer setup, then this is a definitely good choice. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you are a fan. Thank you very so much for joining me and I will see you in the next one. Bye.